INDOT SAYS IT'S FINISHED LOWERING SPEED LIMITS IN NASHVILLE NEIGHBORHOODS. THEY'VE REPLACED SIGNS FROM 30 TO 25. YEAH, SO OUR MICHAEL Warwick TALKED TO PEOPLE WHERE THOSE CHANGES ARE HAPPENING, AND HE WANTED TO FIND OUT IF THEY'RE MAKING A DIFFERENCE. WITHOUT SIDEWALKS IN HER RAYON CITY NEIGHBORHOOD, CONNIE ROTER OUT FOR A WALK WITH HER DOG STOGIE HAS TO BE EXTRA AWARE. WE'VE NEARLY BEEN HIT on more than one occasion. She lives on Keaton Avenue, one of more than 300 streets in Nashville's General Services District where the speed limit is dropping from 30 miles per hour to 25. Connie's seen people do 45 to 55 regularly. If that gives us some emphasis on getting them to enforce the 25 mile an hour speed limit, that would be awesome. INDOT says it's finished replacing all of the signs. However, there are still signs that read 30 on Keaton Avenue, despite it being listed by INDOT as a street which got a speed limit reduction. A spokesperson for INDOT has not responded why. Nonetheless, Connie is happy to see at least a few new signs because speed has been a problem. We have a lot more families with children pushing strollers. We have a ton of people walking animals in this neighborhood, and it's frightening. The National Association of City Transportation Officials reports lowering the speed limit can cause a 28% decrease in the number of pedestrians who are hit by cars. Especially in a neighborhood like this, we don't have sidewalks, so we're going to have to rely on ourselves um, to be aware and to be cognizant of the speed limit and keep an eye out for pedestrians. INDOT says it's replaced about 2,500 speed limit signs, which it calls a first step in calming neighborhood traffic. Connie hopes the next step could be speed bumps, helping curb a speed problem she fears could get someone hurt. Michael Warwick, WSMV4.